Welcome to the Alchemy, Astrology, and Astro Health Podcast. I'm Maya Ratla, medical astrologist, astro herbalist, and green witch. I was diagnosed with endometriosis at 19, and I was told I would never have children. I healed my body through the power of herbs, alternative health practitioners, energy healing, and more. At 28, I had the baby they said I would never have without any interventions. I refused to believe that my body was not able to heal itself. Along this journey, I stumbled across medical astrology, and it resonated with me so much. I started down the path to learning this unique system that had been used for thousands of years in the medical community. I now help other women heal their bodies using their cosmic blueprint, the unique blueprint that every person has embedded in their DNA from the stars. This system helps me see what's going on in your body on a cosmic level and exactly how to help you give your body what it needs to heal itself. We are all uniquely and amazingly designed, and when we learn to work with our design, love ourselves for how we are designed to function, and integrate the cosmos into our lives, I truly believe that we can see true and lasting health brought into our lives. If you are ready to change your life, heal your body, and learn to deeply love who you are, this podcast is for you. Come join me as I discuss medical astrology, astro nutrition, astro herbalism, health, wellness, spirituality, transformation, and so much more. I'm so excited you are joining me. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Alchemy, Astrology, and Astro Health. I'm Ayer. I'm your host. And today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, the one that is super near and dear to my heart, hormone health for women. And I want to talk about them today in like relation to the cosmos and astro nutrition. This will be part one because, well, I have a lot to say and I'm trying to... Uh, not make these too long. So I know that shocks y'all that I have a lot to say, huh? <laughs> so first things first, what the fuck are hormones and why should we care about them? This is a good question. Hormones are the messengers of our body. They tell our organs and tissues what to do. So in the case of women's health, this is in regards to the hormones that tell the endocrine glands and the reproductive system how to function at its best. The hormones I want to briefly touch on today that are super important for women's health, women's reproductive health, and um, for just having us feel our best all around, right, are the thyroid hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. So we'll start with thyroid. The thyroid is ruled by Taurus and subsequently Venus, right, which is the ruler of Taurus. The thyroid is responsible for regulating our blood pressure, our body temperature, our metabolism, our energy levels, and a few more things. The main hormones are T3 and T4, which are also known as some other crazy long names that I just won't get into. But just know those are the main ones that we typically look at. There's also a few others that you can look at with this, but the main ones are those. So we're just going to talk about those today. Those are the ones that make us feel like we have energy. Our brain is functioning properly. The brain fog is gone. Our executive function is functioning, right? And we are able to get shit done. We have a good appetite. We're, you know, energetic in many other ways. We're sleeping well. They actually really help with sleep. And if your thyroid hormones are out of whack, then you can have either too low blood pressure, too high blood pressure. Typically, it's too low. You will be very cold all of the time, feel like you can never get warm. And these are all signs and symptoms of an imbalanced thyroid hormone level of either T3 or T4 or both. Other symptoms are weight gain, fatigue, brain fog, forgetfulness, dry skin, and ADHD type symptoms, especially in women. So this one is super important for a lot of different things. Thyroid problems as a whole, if you're diagnosed with hypo or hyperthyroidism, those are typically a secondary symptom. It's considered thyroid symptom. Thyroid issues almost always are caused by something else going on in the body, and they are now showing up in that way as well. It's not typically a primary health issue. So they tend to come in pairs. So thyroid problems will also come with some other hormone problem. Typically PCOS, endometriosis are the top ones for women that it'll also show up with. The next one I want to talk about briefly is estrogen. This is actually a group of three hormones that are under one umbrella name, 
estrogen. So these are responsible for maturing and releasing the egg from the ovary to the uterus and keeping the general overall health of the uterus intact. When these are imbalanced, we can feel fatigue. We can have really heavy periods, dry skin, hot flashes, night sweats. We can struggle with um, PMS cramping and just feeling overall kind of really eh when we're getting closer to our period starting. And these can be either too high or too low. Progesterone and estrogen have an inverse relationship. So when one goes up, the other goes down and vice versa. And so that's what you want, but you don't want it to be too drastic of a difference where one is super, super high, the other one's super, super low, right? There needs to be a nice balance. And so when they are imbalanced, this is when we get those period symptoms and cramps and infertility issues that are pushed off many times as something else when we go to see the doctor, <clears throat> which is unfair completely. So this is why it's so important to learn how these work, what's going on with them, how to figure out which one is the problem, and then figure out how to solve it, right? Next up then is progesterone. Progesterone is responsible for thickening the lining of the uterus, also known as the endometrium, in preparation for an embryo implanting. When one does implant your when one does not implant, excuse me, when one does not implant, this is when your period occurs, right? As it sheds the lining that is not needed at that moment, right? Because there's no embryo to implant. If an embryo does implant, progesterone levels will soar to maintain the pregnancy. And this causes a severe drop in estrogen levels, which explains why one is so exhausted, tired, absolutely fatigued, a little bit cranky during your first trimester because progesterone and estrogen are really imbalanced in the first trimester, especially of pregnancy. And if progesterone is too high, it can actually cause a lot of morning sickness and nausea and vomiting as well, which is why so many struggle with that in their first trimester. Signs and symptoms of imbalanced progesterone are too heavy of periods or too light of periods, lots of clots, painful periods, cravings, cramps, irritability, fertility issues, typically the inability to get pregnant when one wants to, weight gain, and mood swings. And last but not least, testosterone. Yes, women have testosterone. We obviously don't have it in as high as quantities as biological men, but it is there and it is necessary. Testosterone works with estrogen to grow our reproductive tissues, so the uterus lining, the ovaries, uh, the eggs, things like that, and it helps promote bone density, which we all know we need, which is why in menopause, we see a lot of bones are breaking super easily because estrogen levels drop and then in turn, so do testosterone levels, and this is what promotes in many women strong, healthy bones. There's a bunch of other stuff behind that as well that goes on at that time. That is not for this podcast. So that is just one of the reasons why that happens. Signs and symptoms of imbalanced testosterone in your body are fatigue, low libido, weight gain. Another thing that I did not mention with the thyroid hormones, if they are either too high or too low even, it typically occurs more with them being too high, but not always because every body is different. But anxiety and depression are huge symptoms that those are out of whack and that something is just not right with them. And what is the one thing that we get told all the time when we go to the doctors is, oh, it's just anxiety or, oh, it's just depression. Here's a pill. And then we don't get any better. We don't feel any better. It's because the root cause is not being addressed. And that root cause might be a thyroid hormone issue also being caused by something else. So there's, there's like two underlying things going on, right? Which is why it's so important to find a practitioner that only listens to you and asks questions about what else is going on besides that anxiety and depression to figure out what's really going on underneath and then treats the root cause, not just the symptoms. It's like slapping a Band-Aid onto a leg that's dangling by, you know, literally a piece of skin and saying, there, fixed it. It's it might stay in place for a little bit, but you certainly can't walk on that leg or use it, right? And it's still crippling you in some way, shape, or form from living the life that you want. Same with those. 
So it's super important to not only understand what's normal for your body, but what is abnormal for your body, and then be able to understand what they might be that's causing all of this. So then you can advocate for yourself with a health practitioner of any kind. So, so many of these hormones, right, when they're not at proper levels for your body, and they do swing a lot, right? Hormones are made to go up and down and all around. That's what they're literally designed to do, is to be at certain levels during certain times for certain functions to occur. So there are going to be times where they're at a peak level and other times where they're at a lower level, and that's normal. When I'm saying imbalanced, I mean that they're going either too high for your body or too low for your body, and they're not recovering as well as they should from those positions, right? They're not in that normal level area that they need to be for your specific body. And so many of them, like I said, they cause fatigue, weight gain, mood swings, and they often considered normal PMS, irritability, mood swings, heavier painful periods, and they get dismissed in us so often. And it gets pushed off as something else. Like I said, typically, oh, that's just anxiety, right? And I've been dismissed many, many, many times over these so-called quote-unquote normal symptoms and told it was in my head or I just need to take an antidepressant or anti-anxiety med and they would go away. In reality, I was struggling with high estrogen levels, low progesterone levels, and some thyroid imbalances. My weight gain was due to that, not depression or eating too much or being lazy or not moving my body or whatever other excuse they tried giving it, right? My anxiety was because I felt like shit and I knew something was off in my body, but I was constantly told it was in my head. It was normal. I should just suck it up and stop bothering them. And so many of my clients have heard those same things because they've told them to me that they've been told by other people. And so to restore balance to these hormones, right, which is what we really want to be able to do, to bring them back to where the levels are normal for your body. You need to understand your cosmic blueprint and then what is the root cause for those hormones being imbalanced. So in my case, my Saturn and Scorpio conjunct my moon and my sun was the main cause for me. Saturn's influence was suppressing my body's ability to assimilate the sun and moon ruled vitamins and the minerals, and in turn then, right, my body couldn't produce or synthesize the quantity of hormones that my body specifically needed to function as it should and at its best. So when you determine your placements, this will help you determine the reason you are having imbalanced hormones as well. So in part two, we are going to discuss the planets that are responsible for governing your hormones and why, and I will briefly touch on the nutrients necessary for proper hormone health as well. So if this episode is spoken to you or you want to dive deeper with me on this subject, because it's like my favorite thing ever, and I would love if you came and did that with me, um, come join my Happy Healthy Hormones via the Cosmos workshop on June 26th. It's going to be at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. It is a two-hour long live workshop where I'm going to dive into the hormones in a much deeper way than I did here today. The planets that govern them, the astronutrition of hormone production, learning to roll with the transits and understanding your body better. And at the end, we're going to do a live Q&A with some mini chart readings and me helping you understand your cosmic blueprint better so you can learn how to restore happy, healthy hormones to your body via the cosmos. This workshop will be recorded for those who cannot make it live, so come join me. Even if you can't join live, sign up for it anyways. Purchase your ticket today because it's only $20, and it's limited to the first 100 people because I don't want this to be a super overcrowded class. I want this to be a workshop that everybody can join in on. We feel comfortable asking questions out loud and being able to interact, and I have the space and capacity energetically to help every single person that comes. So it's going to be a hundred people at the max, um, $20 for a ticket. So sign up at the link in the show notes to purchase your ticket, come to the class. You will get a replay. If you cannot make it live, even if you can make it live, you'll still get the replay. If you do not come this time, I will be putting it up for sale later, but it's going to jump. The price is going to start at $50 and it may go up from there. So you're saving yourself $30 to come to the live class with me and get all your questions answered in real time, which I find for myself is always super useful and better than having to 
go do it on my own and then reach out for questions. But, you know, everybody's different. So whatever works for you. So come join me June 26th, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, $20 a ticket, link in the show notes. And stay tuned next week for part two on the planets and astro nutrition of happy, healthy hormones via the cosmos. So until next time, love and light. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Alchemy, Astrology, and Astro Health. I hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as I enjoyed making it. You can find all relevant links to today's show in the show notes below. If you loved the show today, please subscribe, follow, and leave me a review. I love to hear your thoughts and it helps me know what is a hit and to make more of that content, especially for you. If you want to learn more about me and how I can help you, head over to atlaastrology.com. There you can sign up for a medical astrology package, download my free sun sign in your health ebook, read the blog, and so much more. If you want to connect more outside the podcast, follow my Instagram channel at Atla Astrology or join my Astro Connection community, the link to which you can find in the show notes. Until next time, love and light.